Some unit died out of shock. Put away subset on integrational field theorem. The point is, we have to rationalize, we have to reason, we have to qualify what exactly is and isn't reality. This may come as some surprise, but I do not define reality by what I am told and potentially what I see. This is because I have seen so many things in other realms of reality that they can't easily be defined as reality or, or hell would break loose. I certainly would be heartbroken and my life would come to ruin and nothing because of these apparitions of potential information I've derived from alternate sources and the mayhem of the confusion of being alive within the cosmos. So there's a play. The origin of essence is quite simply the fact that we only understand dimensions, mostly so far, in three dimensions. The scientists are grasping for the elite are dappling with time in the f and, and space-time properties in the fifth dimension. Let's look at the dimensions, shall we, children? That is one dimension. That's a point. It's a position. It's neither here nor there. It's just something very arbitrary as a symbol of very symbolic irrelevance. It doesn't really mean much. What people are interested in is at least two planes. One plane, one plane. That is a 2D plane. You hear of cartoons being 2D? Well, that's 2D, it's flat. Okay, we've done this before in another experiment by me in my laboratory. But what I really have to get to you, according to you tonight, is a simple fact of the matter that all knowledge is based on perception. Let's go 3D, children. We're still on a 2D plane, but by changing the parameters of the given construct of the pen within regards to a 2D plane, we have given the illusion of a 3D substance. That is the most powerful thing, in essence, you can ever learn at school. Because it's teaching you to understand the depths and the profundity of reality as we know them mathematically as we have managed to find and take this information of plane and organise a system of intelligence around it, whereby we have created internets, cars, trains, planes, photoshops, Adobe Premiere, video cameras, skateboards, all sorts of crazy, crazy, awesome, genius shit. And it all came from understanding a little more in the dimension of understanding. You know, Archimedes, when he had that eureka moment in the bath, you do know what that's about, I trust, right? If you don't remember that, then what was the point in education? Right, the moment where Archimedes was in the bath and the king asked him to quantify the volume of his clown and he struggled with it all night and then he had a eureka moment and he realised in order to measure the volume of a variable field of product, dip it in liquid and then expose that liquid displacement to a body of measurable time, like in a measuring unit. And you will see that everything is tickety-boo, very easy to gauge really at one level and beyond all knowledge. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. The secret whisper we call delight. But never mind, never mind. Now, here's a test for you children. What is next in the sequence? It's quite obvious when you know. But I don't think you will know, because it's too difficult, too taxing. 
to engaging too hard. But think laterally, literally, whatever the form of thought you might adapt. And you might find a solution to this little sequence of events that is perfect to your understanding, your comprehension, your knowledge of all things. But I sense a little doubt in your mind. I say, can I get it? Can I get it? I've now done this at two cocaine parties to two lots of people, grown adults, who could not guess it. I got it as an IQ test when I was a gifted young child. Can you guess next in the sequence? I'm not sure. What do you think? I ain't wanna say. I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't seen nothing. But you'll kick yourself when you don't get it. It's surely a Muppet's whisper. This is the cradle of the lights I perform myself within. What manner of reality is living if it is not a ration in your own skull and bones within the environs of love? This place promises forth. <coughs> it is the settling of the unwicked. We must define the purposes. All units, the crown is sacred and time is upon us. The origin of the sacred whisper bestowed into the thought pattern of the hickory dickory field is an illusion gesture combining all forms of theorem with the radical interplay. Illusion in this level of construct is not your colossal wonderment or your biological destruction. The effort of the key is to maintain effort during illusion of powers. And thus, The effort on the screen is sober humanity attempting to illustrate the complexity of their intelligence. With this knowledge, they have a systematic process where only certain members of society will be allocated full on primary screen time. To do this, they have a vetting agency of quality, of methodology, of ideology, of philosophy. And through that, they create these tapestries in the world of artistry for all the world to see happily as we exuberantly ride on and perpetually through the ocean of time wonderfully, ancient epics sung so beautifully, knowledge draped before our eyes daily. Can you see the wonder fervently? I do, purposefully. And thus, we may have a little chap in the window Say hello, Barney Bear. Hello. Hello, and how are you? Do you remember that song, Wake Up Boo, by the, but not the Dandy Warhols, not, not the Bohemian Rhapsodies, that was Queen's song. It was Wake Up by the Boo Radleys. Wake Up Boo by the Boo Radleys. That is the song I'd like to share with you during tonight's symposium of wonderful things into the genius of others endeavors into harmony with soul music delight wonderment and incredible things wake up boo by the boo radleys give it some <laughs>